I had a friend call me up the other morning and tell me, Christian, I woke up this morning and I'm just not excited about my business. Now, some people might think that they're picking the wrong business model. They don't have enough passion for the subject. They might think that they need to hustle harder or that they're burnt out. But most of the time people are wrong about all of those. Today, we're going to break down the real reasons you don't feel motivated in your business and why you need to get six things handled if you actually want to stick around long enough to have success. Let's get into it. The concept of motivation in business is basically the same as motivation everywhere else in life. Now, oftentimes people just make this way more convoluted than it has to be. And they think there's some crazy thing that they're just going to be passionate about and that it will never feel like work and they're always going to be motivated. But here's the thing about business is it's solving problems for other people. There's a lot of self-sacrifice involved and there's a lot of putting all of your effort towards solving somebody else's problem only to have them write in on your email leads and tell you to go F yourself. That's the haters you're going to experience in the market. But what I'm trying to say is every day you're going to wake up and you're going to get punched in the face in business. And if that's not exciting to you, then you might not want to be an entrepreneur. But there's some of us who thrive on that. Like we can't function without the chaos. And I think that's who entrepreneurship really speaks to. So if that's you and you like the chaos, you like the thrill, you like the adrenaline rush of going out there and eating what you kill, being responsible for what you make, not reporting to a boss and not getting that steady paycheck, but also having no limits on your income, then we want to make sure that we can sustain motivation. Because if you're like most entrepreneurs, especially if you're starting out, you have a lot of motivation in the beginning and then it slowly wanes over time. And that shiny object that looks so promising starts to get duller and duller. So there's a phrase that I love that is, commitment is doing the thing you said you would do long after the motivation has left you. But let's talk about how to keep that motivation up so that you can keep your commitment. So a couple of years ago, I went to an event called Unleash the Power Within in West Palm Beach, Florida with a couple of friends. And this event is put on by none other than Tony Robbins. There was about 10,000 people there. And if I remember correctly, this was a three day event, but it went for about 12 hours each day. And it was like one big rock concert. I think there was more dancing and group shoulder rubs than really anything else going on there. But Tony Robbins is a master of his craft. He's been doing this stuff for like 40 years. I think he's been teaching Unleash the Power Within on change, uh, which as a side note, something so cool about business is you find one thing that works. You can just run that thing for years and years and years. But aside from all the dancing, I did learn a lot about myself and people and motivation and business at Unleash the Power Within. And so when my friend called me up in the morning the other day and said she wasn't excited anymore, I knew exactly why, because I already been worried about this for her. And the reason was because she's not getting her six human needs met in business. Now, Tony Robbins says, if you can meet three to four of somebody's human needs, they will become addicted to you. Now, this could be a partner you're meeting needs for. This could be your customers you're meeting the needs for. It could be anybody that you want to have or keep in your life. You want to try to meet as many of their human needs as possible, and they literally will never want to leave. So he says there's never been a divorce where the partner has met more than two or three of the human needs. So let's jump in and talk about what the six human needs are and how you can fulfill all of those for yourself in your business and also apply that to your clients and your customers so they want to keep working with you. Because if you don't have these six human needs met, that shiny object is going to start to look real dull. So the six human needs, we've got certainty, we have uncertainty and variety, we have significance, we have connection and love, we have growth, and we have contribution. So let's just start with the first one. Certainty is the assurance that you can avoid pain and gain pleasure. Certainty is just having that routine every day, waking up and not having everything be total chaos. Even if we love uncertainty, we need certainty in our lives just so we can rely on something. That's what a lot of us like about having a partner in our lives is we have that certainty of having that person in our life that cares about us. But what happens, let's say, when we date somebody for quite a long while? Again, in relationship theory, we go from what's called erotic love to companionate love. And what happens? We start to kind of wish that we had uncertainty, that thing in the beginning of the relationship. And the same goes for business, right? It just turns into a grind. We're doing the same thing every day. It starts to feel like work. And then what happens? We only have certainty. But we also have to have, number two, 
uncertainty. So uncertainty, or also called variety, is the need for the unknown, change, and new stimuli. Now, I, I think for about five years, all I had in business was uncertainty. And eventually, it started to become really routine. And all of a sudden, when things started to succeed, it got really repetitive. And we were just doing the same thing over and over again. And I found myself really kind of getting bored when I was at my most successful and almost sabotaging and almost being more excited about business when things were going wrong. And I started to learn from business coaches that there shouldn't be a lot of drama in your business, yet I was addicted to that drama in order to get the uncertainty. So sometimes we'll look at that and we'll say, okay, how am I sabotaging my business in order to have uncertainty? Or how am I sabotaging my relationship in order to have uncertainty? And how could I just create that uncertainty on my own so I don't burn everything to the ground? Because again, we need all these needs to be met. And again, you can do this for your partner, you can do this for your customers too. Number two is uncertainty. We'll go to number three here. Number three is significance. This is feeling unique, important, special, or needed. Of course, I use the relationships for this particular video because it's just such a great example of what we're attracted to as people. We need to get our human needs met. And we might think, oh, we really like that person. Uh, deep down, we probably really like that they meet our six human needs. So we need to feel significance. Now, when you start to succeed in business, and let's say especially if you you know, if you're a hero to your customers or if you make more than anybody you know in your entire life, you're gonna to start to feel some significance or even if you publish YouTube videos and people get value out of them or you lead a team, hopefully that gives you some sense of significance like what you're doing is important and people find you to be important. That is the third human need and we can find this in anything. You know, I used to snowboard all the time and compete and it was the most important thing to my group of friends and to basically everybody that I knew. And once we, you know, got out of high school, got out of college, people started to go off and get jobs and stuff. And snowboarding really wasn't as significant as it was before. And all of a sudden, being the best snowboarder in your group of friends wasn't as important. Guess what happens? The significance drops and all of a sudden the addiction to that activity. Again, because we all have snowboarding in our lives, whatever that is for you. That activity that you're addicted to when you're younger, as, long, as soon as there's no significance left to that activity, your addiction is going to start to drop and you're going to find yourself doing it less and less. So one thing you can do is go back and look at things that you used to be really into in your life and find out where the six human needs started to drop off and you'll see that's when you stopped doing that thing. So next we have uh, love and connection, number four. This one's really important. And this is the one that my friend is missing because she's going into e-com and all of her friends have nine to five jobs. And I think this is the one that people miss the absolute most because we have such a strong desire for love and connection as humans. It's how we survive is we get the approval of the tribe around us. And so if you're not getting love and connection through your business, you're most likely gonna stop doing your business activities and do activities that will get you love and connection instead. So if your partner doesn't approve your business, if your family, if your friends don't approve it, you're not gonna get that love and connection and you're not going to get your needs met. And so my friend, she doesn't have any friends in the e-com niche. She doesn't have any friends who are doing startups and all of her friends work nine to fives. And so when she goes to work in the morning on her business, she's all alone. She's not even part of a paid community. That's why I think WFA, our flagship program at digitalnomad.com is so important, is because we have an amazing community of like-minded people that work together and help each other out. And there is love and connection there, right? We're there to support everybody, but they support each other and they support us. And so we have that communal aspect. And this is so, so important. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter what industry or what niche you're in. If you're not in any paid programs right now where people are dedicated to a cause and they have skin in the game that's gonna keep you on a shared mission, you, you have to take care of that. You have to go join a program in your niche so that you have love and connection. Now, I've gone a step further in my business life. I have accountability partners, I have mastermind calls, I have weekly meetups, all with people who have the same values as me and who share the same mission as me in business. Now I can tell you sometimes I get a bit bored of, of work or of business and I don't, I'm not pushing as hard. And then I'll jump on a call with my mastermind. And again, I know we call this love and connection, but I'm really just talking about human connection. I'll jump on a call with my mastermind. These guys are all complete bosses. They're all crushing it. And what happens? I want significance in that group. I want the connection in that group from being successful in business. And I walk away from that call, you know, feeling fired up and inspired, but feeling like work means something again. Or I can get on a call with a client 
who is putting into practice the stuff that we teach, the stuff we help them with, and it's changing their life. And guess what? I'm getting significance. I'm getting connection. So if you're feeling really burnt out today and you're not feeling like working, I would really urge you to reach out to somebody who's working on the same thing as you, could be ahead of you, could be behind you, but offer to jump on a call with them and help them in any way that you can, or just try to make a new friend in your niche. And you're gonna get that connection. You're gonna get that human needs need met. You're gonna wanna have significance in their eyes and you're gonna find yourself caring a lot more again. So if you're feeling really dead inside of around work, try that out. Now, those are the first four human needs. Those are the basic ones. We really have to get those met. It's kind of like Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If we can't get those met, we're probably gonna drop out immediately. Once we get those met, then the last two become much more important. So next on the list, we have growth, which is an expansion of capacity, capability, or understanding. Now, if you've made it very far in business, I would assume that you are growing. You're always gonna be challenged. You're always gonna be pushed. You're always going to be asked for more than you're currently able to give if you want to grow in business. And so it is that process of growth, which can be very painful in the moment that is so satisfying over time. And, you know, people always go into business and they wish they wish they weren't experiencing the problems. They wish everything was going right. But you have to sh shift your perspective. And almost the greatest thing that can happen to you is things are hard and you learn to work through them and you grow as a person. That's what the real satisfaction comes from over time. So Bruce Lee says something like, do not wish for an easy life, but wish for the strength to endure a difficult one. And that's what you get out of entering businesses. You get growth by consistently overcoming problems and going through the pain. Something that really helped me out in this area, just if you're trying to figure out how to deal with growth in your business is, uh, you can think of it like in the gym. When you're in the gym and you're going through a lot of pain, you know that pain is gonna produce a positive outcome in the gym, it's obvious, we know this, it's common knowledge. And so when you're going through that pain, the people that are really into fitness, they get pleasure out of that pain because they know the more this hurts now, the better my results later. And so you can actually start to enjoy the pain. You can do the exact same thing in business. You can say, this hurts right now. It's telling me exactly where I'm weak, exactly where I need to improve, exactly where I need to find my competitive edge, what skills I need to develop, what team members I need to bring on, and start to love that pain, knowing that down the road, the satisfaction you will get from the painful growth is more than anything you can ask for in life. So it's actually the difficult times that make everything worthwhile in the end with business. And finally, the last human need we have is contribution. Um, one of the greatest reasons to go into business. But again, if you're just starting out and you don't really feel like you're contributing, you might be missing this need. So one of the ways, one easy way to get contribution is, you know, to coach people or to teach people. That's a really easy way to have direct contribution and see the effect, the impact on their life in real time. You can do this in a formal arrangement. Um, you can have paying clients, things like that. Or you can just help people that are just a little bit behind you in your mastermind, in your accountability partners, and you're going to get that feeling of contribution. Now, you're also going to get this by helping whatever business you're in, whether it's an ad agency or sell e-com products, uh, or you're an inventor, or you have a tech startup, whatever it is, hopefully your product is making the world a better place and you're gonna feel that sense of contribution. Sometimes it just takes a while to catch up if you are in the early phases. So I said to my friend, you know, you're not, you're not feeling burnt out. You're not feeling dead inside around this business idea because you don't have enough passion for it or because you picked the wrong idea or because everything should feel good all the time. She's not feeling good about it because she's not meeting her six human needs. And so I said, the number one thing you need to do today is not make tactical progress in your business. It's to go make a friend in your niche and then get on a call with that friend every single week. Now, the first person you connect with in your niche is not always gonna be your forever accountability partner, whatever you wanna call them, the person you talk to every week about your business. The first mastermind you join is not gonna be your forever mastermind. But it doesn't matter. You just have to get started. You just have to start connecting with people. You have to start getting your six human needs met. So maybe write these down and then mark off which one of these, which one of these am I getting met in my business right now? And the ones where I'm weak in, how can I strengthen that need being met? And this is really what's going to keep us addicted to our business in the best possible of ways. Um, addictions aren't always bad. They can be positive, healthy addictions. So get addicted to your business by getting all of your needs met and do it methodically. Look at what needs are being met right now. Where are the gaps? Go try to fill those in. And if you're listening and your wife or your husband hasn't been as happy with you as you'd like them to be, 
maybe just transfer this process over to your relationship too. It works in all areas of life. You can also take this out and go and use it on your customers and say, how can I meet more of my customers' needs? So just one more time, we have certainty, the need for things to be the same. We have uncertainty, the need for chaos or variety. We have significance that's feeling important, like you're special. You'll get that from success until you realize people don't really care that much. You might need to find a new way to get significance. Now, real quick, I'll note, you can also get significance from tearing other people down, uh, destructive behaviors. Um, you can do it through consumerism. There's so many ways to find significance. So I recommend you find it through being a producer. That's the one that's I found to be the most fulfilling long-term. We've got connection and love. That's actually connecting with people, having relationships in your business life, uh, growth, enduring that pain to become a stronger, better person. And then of course, contribution, giving back, sharing what you've learned, creating amazing products and services for the world. Go out there, you know, you meet four of those needs, you're gonna keep going. You have less than four, you're probably gonna quit and give up and you're not gonna get the result that you're after. You have six of those, you will be addicted to business and you will become a high producer. I can almost guarantee if you look at your industry, you look at your niche right now, people at the very top that are obsessed with it, they never stop. And look at Gary Vee. Guarantee Gary Vee's getting all six needs met through producing content. So you really gotta go out there, find something that will get all six of your human needs met. You'll be completely addicted to it. When you get addicted, that's when you start to dominate and you're not gonna wake up in the morning and say, I don't feel like going today. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel fired up and you're gonna think, I have passion for the subject, but what's actually happening is you're getting all of your human needs met. So I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. I don't think people really understand how important this is. It's a little more esoteric and it's not as tactical. It's not as applicable in the moment. They're always looking for that one thing, that magic pill. But this is really it. Is The magic pill is, are you still doing what you're doing a year from now? Are you dedicated? Are you addicted? Do you think about this? Do you have fun doing it? Are you connected doing it? So go ahead and put in the comments. Do you have your six human needs met? If not, I would love to know which ones aren't being met right now and a couple ideas what you might be able to do to start meeting those needs. Then once you do that, come back, let me know how that changed things for you. Are you starting to feel more passionate? Are you feeling fired up? Are you getting up earlier? Are you excited to work on your business again? I hope this helps. That's all for today. It's Christian Martin, the work from anywhere, digital marketing guy. See you on the next one.